Blog Talk Radio. Go away, Mommy. I don't want to talk to you today. Dang, dang, dang. I say go away, Mommy. Jocelyn, you can't judge me. Yes, I can. Uh, you just got out of a prison sentence, and now you're doing the same thing all over again. Get Welcome to Take Two Radio. Man. We are pleased to bring you interviews with people in the entertainment and music industry, discussions and recaps of the four remaining daytime soaps, that's The Bold and the Beautiful, The Young and the Restless, General Hospital, and Days of Our Lives, as well as various other shows. For upcoming and previous shows, check Take2Radio.com, that's with the number two, and you can find us on Blog Talk Radio, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and other streaming apps. Follow us on social media at Take Two Radio, and thanks for listening. Hey, good evening, everybody. This is David from Take Two Radio, Soaps and Review. I'm filling in for Pam, who is on medical leave. And with us today with Anthony and Candace. Let's welcome our guest for tonight, and hopefully many other days, Miss Ashley Morgan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, everybody. I'm excited to be here. (laughs) So, Ashley, whenever we have someone who's going to spend the whole two hours with us, we Mm -hmm. definitely like to ask, you know, what what was your first soap? What got you hooked um, you know, and t- tell us, you know, what got you into soap watching? Um, so my grandma got me um, started watching soap operas. I was 11, and I went to go stay with her for two weeks, and that was back in 1994. And she watched um, the CBS soaps, and she's like, there's this character on Young and Restless, her name's Hope, and she's blind. And she said, um, I, it makes me think of you every time I, I see her. And she's like, you have to watch, you have to watch this, this you have to watch her. And um, I had never known any other character on TV besides Mary Ingalls on Little House on the Prairie, um, mm-hmm. who was actually blind. So I was intrigued. So I sat down with her that that day and I started watching Young and Restless and it was the day that Hope was on and in that moment like Hope was my person it makes me emotional talking about it um but um I just saw Hope as this independent strong woman who didn't let her blindness um impact her life in a negative way and I just fell in love um, with Young and Restless, and in the in that two weeks that I was with my grandma, I started watching Young and the Restless and Bone the Beautiful. Like Bone the Beautiful, Dylan and Jessica were dating, and I like fell in love wow. with Jessica <laughs> and Dylan. Like they were my couple, and then Nick and Sharon on Y and R, they were my couple um, during that time. And so in that two week period, I started watching. Um, as the world turns in Guiding Light as well. So then I left my grandma's house and I went back home and um, I would kind of like watch them like here and there in that, in that year when I was like home from school on breaks and whatnot. And then that next year, the summer of 95, um, my one friend, she's like, Oh, we need to watch days of our lives. Cause that's really good. And she's like, Marlene is possessed. I'm like, ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> so I started watching Days of Our Lives um, in July of 95. And that was when I also bought my first soap opera, um, soap opera weekly magazine. And I remember it was, like, the cover when, like, Peter Ruckel was returning as Bo. And, like, the cover page story was, like, Peter Ruckel and Robert Kelter Kelly. And Peter Ruckel was returning as Bo. Um so I started watching Days in 95, and I fell in love with that show um, also. And then that summer, like, I started recording the CBS soaps and Days of Our Lives um, on, like, VCRs in my parents' house. I, like, monopolized um, their, the two VCRs that they had so I could, like, record my 
my soaps when I was um, in school. Um, and then summer of 96, I added the ABC soaps then um, to my soap repertoire and started watching all my children in One Life to Live. Um, I started watching General Hospital like the end of 95, right whenever Stone had passed away from AIDS. It was mm-hmm. Robin and Stone's story mm-hmm. that drew me into General Hospital. Um so yeah, so like by 1996, I was watching um, all the, AV, the ABC, um, those main three, and then I picked up Port Charles when that Port Charles was on, um, and then the CBS shows and days. So I've just I've been watching soaps like ever since ever since then, and I can remember um, when the internet came about going on and like discovering like the message boards and like when soap central first started it was like mm-hmm. i think it was called like the amc pages yep. yes but yes. i remember i remember that <laughs> um and i remember like the yahoo groups where they have like different yahoo mm-hmm. groups for um for the soap so i i yep. i feel like it's it's so crazy to think like over the years how social media has has come about and and how that's changed um, how we watch our soaps and how we interact, I don't know, with um, fans. Um, so yeah, I've been yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> I never. It's weird. I think back how long it's been, and I'm sitting here talking about all this right now. It's like, gosh, it really has been a long time um, <laughs> since I've been since mm-hmm. I've been watching. Um, you know, but my my, both my grandmas watched the CBS soap, so I can remember my one grandma lived across the street from my family and I, so I would walk over to her house when I was home, like on from college and, and stuff, and we'd sit down and watch soaps together. Um, so they've just always been uh, a part of my life. So and they they provide you know escapism, and it gives me something to look forward to when I come home from work and <laughs> wait to like decompress from the day. <laughs> Well, so. then we are so very happy to have you with us, and I think we've got someone that we can say um, matches our tenacity and, and love for the soaps. Candice, any news that you want to share before we jump into the actual uh, shows themselves? Um, yeah, I would like wanna to follow, follow up on you want to follow yes. up on what we what? dropped on the last show. <laughs> Yeah, so um, real quick, I do have an announcement to make. Um, I'm pretty sure all you guys have probably been following me on social media, um, so I'd like to clarify this. No, I am not having a baby. Um, I have no idea why people want me to have a kid, but I'm not having one. So there you go, folks, unless, you know, something changes. So that's one thing. <laughs> I, wanted to point, <laughs> I wanted to point that out. Two, um, yeah, so when we were last here, um, we did break news. Um, literally, it came out literally like two minutes when, you know, before we were wrapping up um, that um, after, now here, I'm going to say it like this because truthfully this is actually the real, the real thing. After 25 years with ABC, Hold on. Yeah, yep. y'all got that, right? Four years for Charles, Dancing with the Stars, and 21 years with General Hospital, Kelly Monaco was let go. Um, now, here's what we do know. This is what we do know. Um, she was presented, just like everybody, allegedly, with the budget cut. Some people did take one. She also took one. However, there was more behind the scenes, allegedly, with the decision to let her go. Now, um, when we was when you know when we was all here, everything was coming out so so fast and everything that the decision has already been made. But then again, this could actually change. Um, they already had said that the character of Samantha McCall was going to die, was going to be killed off, and and whatnot. Um, fans have rallied, y'all rallied hard for the hashtag I stand with Kelly movement. To the point as of today, okay, okay. Um, as as of today, there was a um uh, um uh, L, 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 I say I want to say that so bad, but I know it's wrong. Um, they had uh, contributed fans, you guys, supporters, 
contribute uh, to a, a little truck, um, just like uh, they did with the liaison fans. They, they did a truck that showed and highlighted, you know, certain moments of Kelly Monaco playing the role of Sam. Um, at this present time, nothing has been said as a reversal to the decision. Um, and, you know, uh, Kelly's co-stars, uh, Steve Burton and Bradford Anderson, they, did, they do their podcast, and they were addressed with that. Um, they didn't know everything. Like, everybody was finding out allegedly at the same time about Kelly Monaco's um, exit. Um, it, it has really kind of uh, rocked daytime, and unfortunately uh, it did take away some things from General Hospital um, when, when we get to later. Um, also, we do know, you know, they are bringing, obviously, Lulu back. So it kind of dampered something that fans were kind of wanting to see and is dampering the mood of General Hospital um, viewership, um, which has not been doing well. They are now, for the 20th straight week, low. They're low grade. Um, I don't even know, again, you know, when we all found out, literally, we all, like, was kind of in a state of shock because, you know, and I'll just speak for myself, um, you know, again, that's why I said 25 years because, yes, yeah, 21 years on General Hospital, but we cannot forget that she was on Port Charles, which, you know, led to her being on General Hospital. So for a quarter of a century, this woman has been with ABC through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um she is a constant professional. She, if you have met Kelly Monaco, she is the most sweetest person out there, um, and she does value the fans. Now She does. We do know what her mom posted, as well as Mr. Billy Miller's mom posted. We're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that, but allegedly some people do believe because it was a post out saying that there might be a personal reasoning for this as well. Um, Anthony, what did you think about this? Well, I, I, I really don't like the whole idea of the personal reason, but, you know, we live in the world that we live in. <clears throat> we live in a world that we live in, excuse me, very much. I am going to say this. There are two actresses who have had repeated cast takeovers for short periods of time, sometimes just a day. Um, and one of those actresses has been treated one way, and one of them was treated in a more poor, poor version of it. Um, there was a lot of things that were said about her style and – the performances that she was bringing to, uh, you know, to the screen. I, I'm mm-hmm. going to point at something as, as a fan. I, I, now, I am I'm Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Um, I think she has is given everything she has to this role for a very long time. However, I do see what most people see. There were some mm-hmm. scenes, I'm, and I'm going to point to one. We were waiting for the showdown with Carly. The friendship we love, and we, I'm actually glad that they, you know, that they found a way to still be friends. Having said that, though, we were waiting for that showdown. We were waiting for that moment, and one actress brought it, and one actress kind of just was there. Owned home? Um, yeah. And so, you know, a lot of that has been bandied about, that the certain attitudes that were on set and things like that. Um, we'll never know unless, you know, three people that were in that room when that, you know, when that was brought to her attention, there were three people in that room. So if one of those three people actually tell us, that's the only way we're going to know. But we can assume at this point, she had said she would take the cut. So she didn't want to go. Um, we didn't want her to go. I, I kept thinking no. to myself, if they actually start writing for, for the character, you know, the character that yeah. she actually is, you know, this story will get better. She'll get better. Everything will get better. I'm saying that about they a couple of areas on this show, unfortunately. So my, you know, my thing is we have not seen this much mobilization since Becky Hurst. And, 
and yeah. that was reversed. Mm-hmm. You know, right now, I, I you know, I'm there. I show up. I put signatures. I've made a few posts. I'm 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 kind of holding out. Let's see what the show, you know, if they can pull pull it back together. Um, I hate to say this, folks, but I am scared that we're not going to be talking about General Hospital next year. I really am. I am too, Anthony. I'm. I I uh, feel it. I, I'm uh, very. I'm very afraid. I, David. I, I mean, how did you feel about this? About this announcement about Kelly Monaco um, leaving? I mean, they basically say, "Get out, girl." Uh uh, I uh, my mouth dropped to the floor. I I couldn't believe it. I know I know she hasn't like they don't write her as often as they used to. It's been mm-hmm. well. I I think it is since um, Billy Miller. Mm-hmm. If I can go back that far, right right now, two thousand eighteen, nineteen. Uh, and then she just peters out. We don't see much of her. So I'm wondering what's going on. I love her, um, uh, and I would. The one one thing I didn't do with all that signing, I, you know, I, I'm sort of on the edge about signing that petition because if that helps keep her, what do, that doesn't mean that. Um, Someone else might be on the block instead of her. If they go, so I don't know what to do in that case. I mean, I I did sign for Michael Easton to come back, but I don't. I'm just on the fence about signing a petition for. The thing, you know, I'm I'm gonna say this. You know, if they had asked Lindsay Harley, um, to to step in the role permanently or or said let's try this for a couple of months before we kill the character off i think a lot of folks would have been okay with that a lot of folks Mm -hmm. um i I feel like they were making a very bold statement by saying you know we're letting the actress go and bam you know she ain't coming back I, you know, and they do that as a red herring, and sometimes we actually we actually find out later on that we knew, like, six months later, this one was going to pop back up, you know, with this whole story, somebody was in a dream, the shower turned off, whatever it might be, um, but mm-hmm. this felt like they were saying this is final, folks. It It didn't have any of the play. It was just very matter-of-fact, and boom. Um, our new friend... Let's 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 hear some of your thoughts. Ashley, uh, I was yeah, no. I was personally shocked to find out that Kelly Monaco had been let go. Um, I guess that just kind of proves to, proves that like no one is safe. Like you know, mm-hmm. people, people that we that we love and that we've we've grown up with. Like just because they've been on there forever doesn't mean that that they're that they're safe. And I, I definitely feel like over the years there's been like a shift in storytelling for for Sam like I feel like th- things have been they just have pittered off you know over over the years um I definitely feel like we don't see as much of like with Sam and in Dante and I was I was personally hoping since Lulu was coming back that we would get like a triangle between right. Dante yep. Sam and, yeah. and now that doesn't look, look like that's, at all the room that's we have happening. for that. Like there's, I feel like there's so much potential, so much story potential for for um, for Sam and Kelly Monaco has has just been such a stellar actress and she's delivered such such powerful performances over the years and I just think it's it's yeah. sad what what's happening. But again, I mean, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes and whatnot, you know, obviously there's logistics and, and, and whatnot, you know, involved, but I, I just hope if she does end up leaving that she finds success, um, you know, in, in some other kind of acting arena, whatever she chooses to move on to next, because she really is extremely talented and she deserves all the best wherever she, she ends up after general hospital. If it doesn't you know, turn off that she does end up leaving, but, I do hope she can stay. <laughs> so yeah. I don't want Sam to die. So I just think I there's will, more story. 
I, I mean, that's the thing is that, and real quick, because I just got, because I got an alert just now for me to mention this. If you want to see the video that is outside of Frosted uh, Studios right now in L.A., um, you can go to uh, Twitter. I still call it Twitter. Um, and mm-hmm. I stand with Kelly. That's I stand with Kelly. And you can actually see the video. Is that that billboard I saw? Yeah, you can see, you can see the video. Um, and they added oh, the music. Oh, I saw the video. I know there was a video. Yeah. Oh yeah, so they so because everybody's not in LA, so everybody gets to see the video highlights that that is actually a part of it. So you, you can go on Twitter after you listen to our show, not doing the show, but after the show to see to see it. And you're right. I mean, it. it, it okay, real talk, real talk, real quick, because we, we, we we're gonna keep it 100. ABC has a problem on its hands right now, and it is General Hospital. I keep saying this, this has been the worst, you hear me, the worst year for them behind the scenes. I'm not counting stuff. Behind the scenes. Because that was was a lot. You know, the last two years, it was a lot of loss at General Hospital. I'm talking about the fact that behind the scenes, creative-wise and higher up, has been nothing but a mess, okay? Going back to, and I'll, I'll say it. Let's go back to after, after COVID. You know, that's when kind of things kind of mm-hmm. started to to kind of break away. Is that you came, you came you came you came from a pickup and then you was down. Like you, the pacing of the show, the storytelling, the uh, unfinished story arcs, um, the flat endings and closures to some chapters, characters that was wasted, that was you know. In awkward positions to the point it was just like, you know what, we have a serial killer storyline, deuces, that went nowhere. The fact that you brought in characters to 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 do whatever it was supposed to be done mm-hmm. and it fell apart. The fact that you guys didn't have a, and I'm going to say it, you knew cer- certain people was going to leave the show to do outside projects. You could at least had a temporary recast until further notice. I'm just saying, okay? Yep. And by, and by the way, Nicholas, we're proud of you, baby. We're proud of you. Go ahead with your Ryan Murphy universe. We see you. I see you. Okay. Then on top of that, you, you know, again, we went from Dan to Chris to Elizabeth to Elizabeth and Patrick to Elizabeth and Chris, to now we have, um, we have uh, Kathy, and now we have Annie. So we have two associate co-head writers, right? We have all of this going on. We have comings and we got goings. We got comings and goings and stuff like that. And the show is banking on certain people to bring in the heat, to bring in the ratings. Sadly, it's not working out because, again, for them to be – for the 20th straight week at an all-time low, you bring in the big guns because ABC owns it. This isn't Sony. This isn't, you know, anybody. ABC owns this show. So for them to quote unquote, I'm going to give you a little behind, a little, 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 little behind. Not a lot, but I'm going to give you a little bit. You know how we used to have the, you know, y'all remember Soap Papa Digest and stuff like that, where it's like the plan to save days of our lives. Y'all remember every time you picked it up, it was the plan to yeah, save Dave. Because, honey, I got, mm-hmm. I got the plan to save, Dave, to save um, General Hospital, too. Go ahead, girl. Me too. Me too. Because the thing is, that's where we're at right now. And, yeah, congratulations. Okay, here, again, congratulations on being the longest-running soap in production. However, there is a fear. There is yep. a fear. You guys said it. Next year, actually, you know what? Hold up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you all out right now. Your season starts, your season premiere starts in a couple of days, General Hospital. And I told you a couple of times, you're going to have to really prove yourself this season because that 60th season, that was so, that was so not right. The 60, like, you, the, the, you, you're, you're trying to not focus on what we, the audience, and look, hey, fans, look, we can all agree to disagree, but we all agree on this. This show needs major help in all layers. 
We see what you're trying to do. We do. ABC, hey, 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 Varney, I remember your tweet. You want to get lab viewers back. You want to get back to basics with General Hospital. I'm going to tell you right now, you might need to take two months off. I'm going to tell you why you're going to need two months off. I need for everybody behind the scenes to have a meeting. Everybody have a meeting and have that white board in the back. Okay, not Zoom calls. No, I need all of y'all to be in the same room. And I need for you guys to, to sketch out your story Bible for the next six months because I'm going to tell you something. I doubt y'all have one, and it shows. It really shows. You're begging on certain people to bring in the ratings, and it's fine for a week. It's fine. But you have to think about the rest of the year. Not only that. <laughs> I'm going to be real about it. This guest casting that you guys are doing, <clears throat> you're not bold and beautiful. You're not bold and beautiful. Right now, you can't afford to do that. You need to really focus on the next couple of months because I'm going to tell you something. In 2025, there's going to be a new soap coming. And, yes, we know, everybody, we can't all put everything on the gate. But I'm going to tell you something right now. You guys are going to have competition. This goes for all the soaps. You guys are going to have competition. You already have competition on digital and streaming and audio. Huh. You guys need to get your act together. General Hospital, I better not hear the final, these, these words come out at the end of the year. Y'all ready for this? We think we're going to have a great year in 2025. No, finish out 24 with a great year. Let's finish out the year with a great year. You guys can do it. Oh, it's sad. It's really sad that this year there was, there was a lot of potential. Let me say this. Do I think the show was better than last year? Yes, I do. I actually do. However, Something has fallen apart, and I think, again, because we went from Danny Chris to Elizabeth, to Elizabeth Patrick, to Cassie. You know what I'm saying? There was too many hands in the pot. Yeah. And what we were supposed to see did come. We, the Jason storyline was supposed to be completely different, y'all. We're going to just tell y'all right now. Okay. But the thing is, is that there was so much going on behind the scenes that a, a real time, and I never, and I'm going to say this, I've never seen this before. I've never seen where a show is seriously balancing while behind the scenes they're fixing it with crazy glue or gorilla glue. <laughs> it, it, and, and, you know, yeah, when we heard about Kelly Monica, again, I think everybody, because I think beforehand we kept saying, when Lulu wakes up, Dante and Sam are going to be together, that's going to be interesting. You, you took that away from us. You took that away from us. And we know Lindsay caused the arm and the leg. But, you know, it's a lot that I could say, but I'm going to, you know, let Anthony, because I know Anthony is like this, girl, I'm ready. I'm ready to talk, honey. So, <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. The way that they, can, that they can fix this show is to take a look at the core families, the core storylines that have worked over the last five years, the core characters that have maintained and the ones that haven't, they need to steadily shuffle off. Stop bringing in other people to fix characters that, that just aren't working for now. You don't have to kill everybody off, although I do love a good serial killer storyline and that we did not get. Um, <laughs> and so, <clears throat> You know, I love seeing Heather on my screen. I do. I do. I, and I want so badly to, to, like, find a reason to really want to suspend my disbelief so that they can, you know, free her to, to, to wreak havoc on Port Charles again. No, that's not your storyline, General Hospital. You need to phase a lot of things out. I am going to tell you, you are making so much progress in only one area – no matter, and you keep throwing bad storylines at the area, you actually have a quarter main clan that is interesting. They're all invested. Yeah. 
I, I, girl, Rena, 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 girl, you probably looked at that and shook your head and said, mm. are you kidding me? I am hot, and I could sex up any of these men in town. You're going to make me play with the way I talk? Mm. You keep giving them these crazy mm-hmm. storylines, but you have got a group of people that, and the only bright spot is Tracy, 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 whoever is, whoever is in charge of breaking down Tracy definitely deserves a bonus and more responsibility as far as creating the rest of the characters because Tracy is perfection. How everyone responds. But everyone everybody, in her household. Everyone who acts with Jane Elliott brings their A game. So that just makes everybody yes. else good in this crap you're giving us to want. <laughs> Lois feels bad about the way she talks. This is not Lois. This is not Lois. I've known Lois. Lo- I knew Lois in the 90s. This is not Lois. Um, so my my ultimate piece of advice to General Hospital is to explode this Nina Willow Drew mess that you created. Mm. Explode it and, and, and send two people away for a while, if not forever. And then focus on the mob. Explode that and reset it all. I guess we're never going to see Selena again. I don't know why they dropped Cyrus in on us for like a day and a half out of nowhere. I guess you have to make them work a certain amount of hours to keep them on contract. I don't know. Um, But, you know, cut all of that fat. Now that you got rid of Lulu, I'm going to go with, I want to see Lulu with a a lot to deal with uh, personality-wise. I want Lulu pissed off, angry. Um, yeah, I want yep. Lulu pissed off and you angry at the world. More. You want her to be more. Because here's the thing. I've always said when Lulu came out of a coma, she's going to be Laura. You know how Laura came out of, you know, when, when yep. she came the first time, when she came out of her, you know, When coma, she came out of the longstanding, yep, right, the mental. And, right. And she was like when she saw, you know, her children. How, especially Lulu, she was like, oh, my God, you all grown up. How long have I been? I want and see. I'm going to, General Hospital, hey, I got a question for y'all. Was that your original plan? I'm just asking for a friend, me. Um, because I could totally see Lulu seeing, you know, when she sees Rocco, but when she sees Charlotte, that's when she's going to have that moment like, oh, my God, how long have I been out like this? And you're right. The yeah. fact is, is that Lulu has been in a coma now for what four, three, three, four years, right? Well, two and a half to three. Almost, yeah. So is let's it? think about yeah. Twenty. It's been, it's been oh wait. Like, yeah. Wait. Or yeah. No. Whenever, it's almost whenever, four whenever years. That, yeah. It's, it's been, been since two thousand twenty. Yeah. 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 Since four yeah. Four. So, four years. So let's so let's think about all the stuff that has happened. She lost her aunt Bobby. Her cousin is declared well right now declared dead. Her brother is in jail. Um, Lucky is in Africa. Um, Charlotte is on the run with Cyrus. the team. Cyrus. Well, she, well, yeah, I guess she knows Cyrus. I don't know. But she, well, uh, okay, we can go there. She knows and the who thing he is, is that, but she don't right, know that but the big, she's related. The big, thing is, the big thing is is that when she finds out about Luke, that is mm. going to, like, the fact she lost Bobby and, because I already can see the scene. And yep. for those who made a complaint about this, let me refresh y'all memories here. Carly and Lulu are cousins. However, Carly also adopt, you know, looked at Lulu as a little sister. So I can totally see yeah. Carly and Lulu having a conversation, and they bring up Bobby. And then Lulu says, well, what, how did my dad handle it? In comes Laura. Because that's the scene that I can see. But yep. outside of that, with her and Dante, because remember, she was going to tell Dante something, and that's when she yep. you know, went into coma. So the fact that she's coming into a new world, you know, some things stay the same, <clears throat> and some things have changed. But at the same time, the dynamic between Dante, Sam, and Lulu wasn't going to be the Luke, Tracy, and Laura scenario. You took that away, G.H., 
I want to ask all three of you something real quick, and then we really do got to go to our actual recapping of the shows. But yeah. if these scenes are already recorded, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and go back and rewrite them. I, I am, I'm telling you, General Hospital, do not have Sam be the donor. The donor. Yeah. For Lulu. And then no one. From complications. Uh-huh. That's what we think. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's what I think. Are you thinking that? Yeah, yeah. I think I think yep. Sam's going to be the I donor. I hope not. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they are. I hope I not. They, I, I think, think, I I think was, they're going to go I there. was banking on Cyrus myself. No, well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say two things can be true. I think originally they probably was going to do that, but now that we know Kelly is, you know, Sam is going to die, I mean, the writing is on the wall. Unless, again, hey, GH, y'all got six, actually you got uh, five five weeks and four days to correct this because they went back this week. They're going back this week to work. Oh, yeah, yep. that's right. They just went back. Mm-hmm. And Kelly, girl, real quick, I'm going to tell you something. Come here. Come here, Kelly. Don't try to pull a Beverly McKenzie. What I mean by that is you do still have six weeks on your contract. I get I get it. I get it. But we don't want no lawsuits. Okay? Okay. That's between me and you, Kelly, okay? I love you, girl. Eagle, eagle fly, eagle fly, even though I'm a Patriots fan. But, you know, I'm still giving you love. <laughs> you know. So, so, yeah. So, we'll keep you guys posted with that, too. So, but, um, um. So oh, what's that question? Real quick. Oh. No, that was my question. Okay. That was my that question. Was Ashley, no, I don't Ashley, what that. do you think? What was the question? I'm sorry. About how, what do you think about the whole Lulu being, Sam being a donor? Do you think that's going to happen? I think it's going to happen. Yeah. Like whenever, yeah. whenever it was announced that Kelly was leaving and then everything going on with Lulu, I definitely think that's going to happen. I could see, I could see that happening. I just don't – if it is going to happen, I don't know how they're going to write her off to die. Like, because right now it's I feel like, like we're barely even seeing her to Complications from surgery. Complications, yeah. Maybe. Complications from surgery. Yeah. I just – I guess I just feel like there's such a disconnect right now with because we're barely even seeing Sam, and and they're going to write her off. I just – yeah. And that, and that kind of dampers the whole mood of Lulu's waking up. You know what I'm saying? Like – because that's yep. right there. It's, it's, because General Hospital, we understand you're trying. You're going to now go and have the Spencer kids because we did ask for the Spencer kids to come back to the show and, you know, be integrated into the cast. But because of this, this for the Lulu stuff, because I'm pretty sure, one, you know, they, I mean, obviously, they, you know, Emmy Rowling did, you know, say that they were going to recast the role. That's still current uh, to, uh, to our knowledge. Um, but it's like, again, once they do all that, it's kind of, some fans are going to be turned off because it's like, okay, yeah, that's great. You got such and such as Lulu, but at the same time, Kelly Mondo is, is going to be gone. So it, it's, uh, unless they reverse the decision and, you know, maybe Sam goes in a coma and then they bring her back as, you know, Somebody else, if they can't, you know, reach something with Kelly, you know, or, you know, stuff like It's one of those things where it's just like, damn. Like, damn, I almost General feel Hospital. like they're, they're, I almost feel like they're sacrificing one character for the other, for another character. Like, we're going to, we're going to get yeah. rid of Sam to, oh, to get, to get Lulu back. Well, I'm gonna like, say, I, I, I feel as though it's been, like, I think the, this is just me saying this. I think a lot of this stuff was already predetermined. When I say that, mm -hmm. it's like bringing the Lulu bag, bringing the Lucky, bringing it. Like, everybody is, I'm going to say right. this. Yes, we have people coming onto the show. Yes, we do know ABC is doing budget cuts. Yes, we do know there's maybe more behind the scenes than meets the eye. But some of this was before they decided to say, hey, Anthony, David, Ashley, um, do y'all mind, you know, like, how would y'all feel about taking, like, a 55% cut and everything else like that? That was before mm -hmm. that. So, you know, again, I think they had everything. It's just now that they're playing it out, especially on top of the news, the ratings, the fact that, let's be honest, is any VH fan, I mean, look, we can, we can say the normal is like, we're just glad that it's still on the air. Yeah, we're glad that it's still on the air, but who? You got some people who are questioning that now. Like, 
Yeah. How long is it going to be on the air? Because if this was 2009 <coughs> or 2008, oh, <laughs> and, and let the they would be show, calling time to death. No, let the record show mm-hmm. for those who, who want to do this. General Hospital, like Days of Our Lives, has been on the chopping block. Hence why back in 2012, y'all was there, right? Y'all was there. Y'all, was, y'all know what I'm about to say. Yep. That's why they asked, that's why they asked Frank Duran to save the show. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're now yep. in twenty twenty four, General Hospital. You better come up with a freaking superhero plan if you want to say, you know, we're gonna be here for sixty two seasons. We want to be here for sixty three seasons. We want to be here for sixty four seasons. Yep. You got a lot you got of it. work. You have to, to do something. Do. You got to do something. And look, and I'm, I'm going to even say this. Here's what I'm going to say. It starts from the top. It starts in the middle. And then it goes down. It's not the other way around. Okay? There's a boss on top of a boss on top of a boss. Okay? Thank you. Right. Okay. And, I feel and may I, on top of all that, can I add to that, Kim, Candace? Mm-hmm. Um, And I'm sure you all agree with me. You can bring anybody you want on the screen. You just better have the writing for them in advance. True. That's a true statement. And I'm also going to say this, too. <clears throat> and we do really got to go. Network interference, when we keep telling people network interference is real, network interference is real. And I'm going to say this right now. What you think you think that Frank is doing nine times out of ten, it ain't all Frankie. The more you know. Christina. Yep. <laughs> Christina. Yeah, mm. exactly. Mm. <laughs> the shade of it all. And before, real quick, before we get to the recap, we do want to offer our condolences to James L. Jones. Wait, I feel like I need to kneel or something. Because this is CNN. <laughs> oh, I'm your father. But before that, he was on Gone Light and Ask of All Turns. We claimed yep. him first. We so fans yep. claimed him first. So you Star Trek fans, mm-hmm. all y'all, I keep telling y'all, if you're a Star, fan, Star Wars, you're Star Trek. By the way, yesterday was Star Trek Day, so many soap stars was on that too. Um, any of these superheroes. You owe a debt to the soap opera fans and the soap opera fandom because oh, we we had them first. So I just wanted to, you know, and I and I saw what New York City did uh, at the Empire State Building. They actually lit it up all red, but the outline was Darth Vader. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and we're, oh my God! I wish I was there. Just take a picture. I need somebody to take a picture of that. If somebody could do that and send it to Take Two Radio, that would be great. <laughs> But, um, yeah, well, we so. might as well consider this the the recap for General Hospital as well. Um, okay. Ashley, you wanna sh- you wanna share about anything else going on in General Hospital right now? Maybe you wanna talk a little bit about Marta. Um, I I want to say like I'm I'm kind of intrigued with the fact that um, Emma Sam has returned as Holly. Like I'm anxious to see what happens if she makes it back to Port Charles with Lucky. Um, I'm a huge Robert and Holly fan, so Woo! I'm anxious, anxious to see if uh, she and Robert end up um, getting back together. So, yeah. But I, I feel like that, right. it, it's kind of, that story is kind of slowly, slowly building. So, yeah. But I'm, I'm just, I'm hopeful that Emma will end up sharing scenes with, with Tristan Rogers. Uh, Tristan Rogers. And uh, what do you think of uh, Holly's current, um, oh, let's just call it toy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I, all I can say is interesting. <laughs> David? I think... Uh... I think it's interesting. I, you know, I love Emma. I mean, yeah. she, she has the most beautiful smile, and I've ever seen. And, and she's wicked under that. And it's such a, just a beautiful combination because you don't 
see the wicked. You don't see the wickedness. I just, I just go over, and I it, hope it's whatever they have for her is good. Mm-hmm. I, I hope so too. I hope so too because she, she deserves it. As the actress she is, we deserve it as the folks who have invested all these years. And every time they bring her back, it's, it's somewhat clownish. And that's not who she was. They did it to Lucy Coe, but we all, you know, we all went along the journey. And Lucy Coe's journey was really actually organic. She really is a clown. You know, she slept with a doc. Um, but Holly, no. So I, I am so hoping. Candace, go ahead real quick, honey. Okay, so my whole thing is that Emma Sands is a goddess, point blank period, all day long. I'm going to need to, I'm going, I'm in, I'm in, invested in the story, but I'm also kind of still shaking my head because I do want to know the relation because it kind of, it, it kind of sounds like Lucky and, and Holly has some bad blood or something. And I'm like, when did y'all have bad blood? Because the last time I remember the seeing you guys together was with Ethan. And when it was the shootout, mm-hmm. yeah, when they were getting ready to return Jake. And I'm like, mm-hmm. when did you, like, have it? I do agree, last time that she was there, it was like, uh, 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 Cartoon Holly. It, 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 it wasn't even, it wasn't even cartoon. It was just like, uh, 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 okay, because there was no, there was no words to describe that, you know, and I get the situation at that time, but at the same time, that wasn't her, I'm still saying that was, um, that was Kiara, um, Holly's twin. Yup, mm-hmm, that's who I named her. Um, so I am interested in in this. Um, are we supposed to talk about Lucky? One minute. We should talk about Lucky, yes. Okay. As, as the fan of Johnson, you know, okay, you bring Johnson Jackson back, right? Always nice to see Johnson Jackson. We've grown up with Johnson. You know, you remember when he was, mm. when he was 11 years old, and he was like, mm. yep. yeah, mm. yeah, okay. Little boy. You, you, remember, you remember, you know, doing the hip-hop dancing at the nurses' ball with Luke, and his, you know, his, his perm and all that. Yep. You know, yeah, 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 remember. Remember falling in love with Elizabeth the first time? We remember that song mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You bring him back on, and automatically I said this last night, and I said I need a definition between deadbeat and absentee father. And the reason that I said that was because I do feel as though, you know, the, the writing for Lucky, take Jonathan out, the writing for Lucky has been very questionable to me. Um, and then you have him, you know, they said he's done stuff with the kids and stuff like that, but, again, we haven't seen it on screen. Now we have Jonathan back, and all I can see is, look, I feel as though General Hospital, you're trying to make Lucky into Luke, which was something he never wanted. This version of, like, the, the Jonathan Jackson's version of Lucky never wanted to be like Luke. He always That's wanted to be true. there for his family. He wanted to be, you know, like, more responsible than Luke was, especially later on in life. So I'm going to need VHU to tell me some things. I'm going to need you to really sit me down and say, Candace, this is what this was what's going on with Lucky. This is why he hasn't been da 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 Because if you tell me he's working for the WSB, okay, we need to talk. But you still need to do certain things. However, I'm going to also say this, too. There is an issue we are having here when you have Drew, Jason, and Lucky start off the same way. Meaning yeah. that they were held hostage. They are doing something to get out of it. They're coming up with plans and all that jazz. Yes, sir. I right to me. Okay, it works if it would if you would have built this up a little bit more. Because to me, it is reminding me of the last time we saw Lucky when it was the shootout. You know, when they was getting ready to get Jake and everything, and you know, Tracy. I mean, um, Luke and Laura. You know, all that stuff. I just need for some fill-ins. I really do. And also, you're bringing in a new character who better be a love interest for Jordan. Um, and you better be Tom. Oh, yeah. Um. You bring Isaiah, and I'm going to address this because I addressed this last night on the party. His last name is Gannon. Yep. Gannon. And I'm mm-hmm. going to say this. Isaiah Gannon. Are we doing something here? 
Did anybody yeah, else think we might be doing something here? I'm thinking we're doing uh, something uh, here. Uh, I um uh, I noticed. I took my All right. I'm gonna say this again, General Hospital. Hi. I'm Indie Series Award winner Candace Mack talking to you. Okay. Of the hit audio drama series Forever and a Day. Streaming now on all platforms. You know, when we did y'all like my promo for that? <laughs> okay. Um That was we, good girl, really good. Thank, thank you. You know, I, I try to swap that in there. The problem that we're having right now is when we saw the last name, it may not have triggered a lot of general hospital fans, but if you are a former One Like to Live fan who watches General Hospital, you was like, Dan and um, um, hmm, there's only one game they and could. we know. They could, but I'm going to tell you right now, they shouldn't. This is, they okay, really this shouldn't. Is, because you, Anthony, you know, Anthony, I think all you guys know what I'm about to say. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're coming that's why out. I brought it up the way I did, girl. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Here's the problem. This is General Hospital. Not all my general hospital one likes to live. <laughs> yes. To I'm me, sorry. Yeah. As much as I love these shows, I do. You had Blair. You could have done something. I know, Try but it. not everybody. Would... This but, okay, is general know, hospital. You can't save general hospital. The The only exception might be, and only if the writing was 100% stellar and perfect, the yeah. only exception might be Miss Susan Lucci. If you can bring Erica to Port Charles, I think that oh fire. Other than that, you, stop, you really think, stop, you really stop. Think, you really think that I'm thinking Scott Quartermain. I'm thinking Scott. Sky is the only now, exception but I can Sky do. Lives in, but Sky lives in our universe. Sky lived in our I universe know. for six years. So that's not that, that, yeah, bring on Sky. But stop bringing on people from the other shows. Even if you are going to create Natasha, even if you are going to create uh, Nat- Natalia, I'm sorry. You see how, how yeah, memorable yeah, she, she is? She Natasha. She you, you, um, you know who she should have yeah. she, she been. She should have been. You know who she we know who she should have been. Exactly. <laughs> please, folks. Please, General Hospital, stop. Stop it's with not, this. It's, it's, it's an open wound. Like, again, it's okay. If this was if this was the 50th anniversary and you pulled this stunt, then fine. We would have been okay with it. But the problem is, is that, one, General Hospital, listen to me. We know, Frank, because I'm, I'm going to put some blame on you. I get you miss One Life to Live. Hell, we all miss One Life to Live. It shouldn't have been canceled, Brian Fawn. But the thing is, is that, you know, every time you bring a, like, when you brought Blair back, I'm going to use Blair for instance. For a Please day, do. The One Life to Live fans who are watching General Hospital got excited. But if you're a general hospital fan, if you're just a strict general hospital fan with no interest, you know, don't know who Blair is or, you know, you could care less of what Martin and Blair were talking about. With yep. one like the Lynn fans who watched with general hospital, mm-hmm. they was like, hold up, David Dickert? Yep. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. Yes, we need more ex- but at the same time, this is what happens, ABC. This is ABC, Frank, Ronnie, all of y'all. This is what's going on. When you talk about the past soaps that we are no longer able to to watch, to, you know, do any of this, it's an open wound that's never been healed. You keep opening the wound when we're, when we're, we're trying to heal, okay? We don't have all my children anymore. We don't have One Life to Live anymore. We don't have Ryan's Hope anymore. General Hospital, stop. Because, again, yeah, it was cute in the beginning, but, again, right now in this particular situation, you can't afford to do it. And for those who keep saying, but it's a paying homage to One Life to Live, again, folks, this isn't CBS. And I'm using CBS for a really good reason. CBS was able to do all of this in one universe. Like, again, okay. You had the okay. ABC was known for crossovers. Am I am I, am I correct on that? All my children yes. were to live and all that stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. With the CBS soaps, 
they didn't really need much of a crossover. I mean, they occasionally crossed over to each other's shows, and the characters were so iconic, they didn't even need the crossovers, right? But the thing is with CBS fans, and I'm sorry to say this, CBS soap fans are loyal enough that they saw with Young and the Rustlers, Capital Flash, Bone and the Beautiful, as well turns Don Light. And not in that order. Because sometimes if you were a Don Light fan, you'd be watching as well. T- you know what I'm saying? Like you was in that universe. ABC, however, yes, you have the loyal fans who follow each soap. But you also had those who only watch All My Children, One Life to Live, turned out on General Hospital. People who turned into General Hospital and turned out All My Children, One Life to Live. I'm going to tell you the storyline that broke everybody's back was Robin and Anna's reunion. It should have happened on General Hospital, not on All My Children. Fast, yep. forward, years, fast forward years later, when you brought One Life to Live over to General Hospital to try to match up the Sonny Carly Michael with Blair, Blair um, uh, la, 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 shoot, Star and Todd, it was interesting. It worked at that time. It fast sure forward, did. Fast forward again. Cassie the Pop has been on another show. Blair has not been heard from since the Walter era, okay? You bring her on, and Frank, I'm going to say this was you, your what if, y'all remember the what if he used to do? Like, what if yep. Blair Kramer met Ted Martin? That's what we <laughs> saw, and it didn't work. With this new no, character, I'm, inter- I'm interested in him. I'm interested. But that last name, something is telling me. Something deep down is saying, y'all going to try to connect him to Landview. Yep. Versus if you want to bring the, if you're trying to redo the core families, okay, you got the Spencer, check mark. You redid the quarter main. It may not be the quarter main we're accustomed to, but you got Tracy freaking quarter main. Okay, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen for that? Amen. I can, but, he, amen. But, he, but this guy could be a quarter main. And think about it, Candace. This guy could be a quarter main. It didn't have to be yeah, a Gannon. John, but here's the thing. To me, why can't he? Be, it would be interesting if he was Tommy Hardy Jr. That too. Yes. Because. Because yeah. think yep. about it. We have not seen Thomas the most. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, if you're going to do the core family, since that's what y'all said y'all was going to do, why not bring back Elizabeth's cousin, who is integrated with the, S- the WSB? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could actually have play. We're just going to wait and see. I'm just going to say that. But, ooh, that last name, ooh, that triggered me like nobody's business. I was yeah, like, Gan- I was like there's me. only one Gannon I know. I said, where's Rachel and RJ at? All right, we're going to have to do this one real quickly. David, the murder, the murder, talk to us. Oh, geez. Um, so, Sonny um, lured John Cates to the Quartermain house and loved him twice. And got Jason to rid of the gun and the bullets. In the meantime, Christina takes another gun. And goes to the gra- to the baby's grave site. So now you got two guns in question. So now Christina, as of today, admitted to her father and Michael that she had took another gun. So mm. the third. And so we threw Rick that, and Elizabeth into this storyline just for a moment because they witnessed Alexis, who was trying to cover up for her daughter, who she yes. might have shot. Uh, the murder actually was John Jacket Case. Um, yeah, so then we pulled in a couple of other characters. There was a whole bunch of quarter mains on the scene. <laughs> oh, 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 the alibi. Oops. The alibi mm-hmm. was... Sonny and Carly went and did it up in Tracy's bed. I'm sorry, that one I loved. I'm sorry, that one I, I absolutely loved. I said, of all the things that are wrong in this storyline, this is the one thing that is so right. They got it on, supposedly, in Tracy's bed. Supposedly. Mm. And Tracy's expression was oh. was yeah. awesome. <laughs> I loved it. I know. I can't think mm. of the word, but I... It was, it was like I just said, get brilliant. General Hospital, do whatever you have to do. You put the whole entire studio on their knees begging. Do not let Jane, Jane Elliott leave this show. Ashley, the murder. Um, I, 
it was um <laughs> I was I I thought for sure that Christina was was going to be the one to the off um Kate. Mm-hmm. So um I was but, but then yet I could also have seen like Sunny do it too since they were so heated from day 1 of um mm. John returning to town. Um but I definitely feel like Christina is is in the thick of of everything. Um and so everything. and then you have Jason who's trying to cover up for everyone as as Jason can only do. All right. I'm, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to tag team. I was supposed to go to Candace next, but I'm going to tag team off of what you just said cuz that's the space I've been waiting for. Um Hi, folks. We have two different styles of the dissociative identity disorder storyline. We have Frank behind the scenes, who knows very well about how to write for this. And we have Tiffany, who has, who has played this and played this so very well. When they were in the police station, uh, all of a sudden, she oh. head came up. I, I said, no, they are not. But we have seen her transition to three different personalities over the last couple of months, if you think about it. And the attachment with Adela. Candace, take it away, girl. As a member of Take Two Radio, I am very disgusted by all this because here's my problem. Okay, let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you. All right, General Hospital, this must be the thing you think is going to save the show because this is such a familiar territory of having Mobster Sonny Carrasco's bop, 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 and having everybody else kind of do some dirty work and left and have you listen. Okay, first and foremost to Adam, who played Jagger. Baby, you did your thing, and I'm going to miss you. Yep. Go to day, you played the day, gave you, and you played it well. You play, you play. You know what? You know what? Here's the thing. We you know, did we it. Know, we know. We know what you know that we know that you know. But you you yep. was able to do your thing, and I feel the anyway. same kind of way that, that Sonny, Sonny shot Stone's brother. Because at the end of the day, that's what really happened. Keep in mind, Sonny yep. and Stone's relationship and you went ahead and killed somebody else's brother. I'm just saying, you killed AJ, and then you killed, you killed Jagger. Way to go. Way to go, Sonny. Two thumbs up. Stone haunt, haunt Sonny. No, I don't want Stone to haunt, haunt Sonny. Oh, no, 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 no. I want, in a perfect world, I would like little Stone. To come to town? Oh, little, well, little Stone is in his twenties. Little but. Stone, little Stone, yeah. And I would like for him to avenge his daddy's death. Yep. And I am so down Jocelyn. with that. And that would be good. Jocelyn. Yeah, that's what I would want. Okay, now Sunny and Carly, really, Carly, Carly, girl. Really. Like, well, let, you better be glad I'm not in poor Charles because I would be the one to pull you by your hair and tell you, tell you the truth. So you're going to jeopardize your freedom all over again? Is this what we? Is this, is this what we're doing? You just now had a man. You had two men to put their lives on hold for you. No, for Candace, you. I'm sorry. Forget that. You made no. us sit through the no. sickening no. process of no. Carly no. becoming an adult. And no, figuring no, out. No, I'm, about, I'm about to get there, Anthony. I'm about to get. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay. I'm, warm, I'm, I'm warming sorry. myself I, up. I, I, I hit the gun. I'm I hit the gun. Go ahead, girl. I'm, I'm, I'm warming myself up because here's, here's what I'm gonna say. First and foremost, your best friend, your BFF, right, who decided hmm? to be a selfish, a selfish sob, and I said what I said for two and a half years. He he gave up his his freedom, his responsibilities to his children and to those others for you. Okay. For you. you then, then, but then you go ahead and go with his mom mapping brother, who also has a family. Because remember, he wanted to come home to Scout. I guess you forgot about Scout Drew. And you yeah. put yourself mm-hmm. on the line and went to jail for Carly. Okay, Carly, now here's what we're going to have, have you do. You lost your mom. <laughs> yep. You lost your mom. Mm-hmm. And before yep. that, wait a minute, let me just say this. Before this, you was on a quote-unquote um, 
spiritual trying to figure out who you were, who you are, it was and all the that soap version mm-hmm. of Eat, Pray, Love, right? Eat, Pray, Love, like, think about it. It's still my notice. And then on point, then you lost your you lost your mom. You lost your mom. And anybody who has lost a parent, you have to do some deep searching, soul searching to find out if you can actually grow from that. And you kind of did. But now, so oh Jesus, help me. Help me. Now you're getting all hot and bothered, Carly. Because, Sonny, so you, you two can't keep yourself away from each other. You're toxic to mm. each other and those around you. Sonny says, hey, I need a plan. You don't even think for a minute like you think, but then it's like, okay, once you see him with the best belt buckle and stuff like that, you're stuck back in. So let me guess, G.H., we're about to do another MOC with Carly, Marisha Kazania. Because if we are, oh. I'm out. I'm out. And I'm glad Jocelyn said what she that. said. I'm glad Jocelyn said what she said because it yep. makes sense. Mm-hmm. To me, Carly, why would you put yourself back in a predicament knowing you just got out of a predicament? Did you think? Did you think? Now, Jason, now, Jason, let me and talk that, well, No, you. no, no, hold on. Stop oh, right oh, there. Oh. And the, the, the man you almost went to bed with because you had been hanging on him sidelines-wise mm. for 20 years. Just came back and do, and let us know he was gone for two and a half years because you. No, nah, girl, no. Jocelyn could have said so much more, but I was oh, yeah, I was I know, proud I of Miss Jocelyn. Me too, me too. Now let me talk to Mr. Jason over here. Okay, this is where Candace is taking off her earrings. If I had some earrings in right now, Jason, it's amazing to me. General Hospital, ABC, Steve, all of y'all over there. You refusing to let this character grow at all. This is my problem that I had. Two years, not 10, not 15, not 20 has gone by, and we're doing this. You tricked me, GH, because I kept saying if Jason is to come back, I don't want the same old, same old. I've outgrown it. Everybody has outgrown it. You had him working for the feds. I was enjoying that for a minute. Y'all don't know I was enjoying it. Once I you was. told me, right, once you told me the reasoning behind it, I was like, are you effing kidding me? Now on yep. top of that, not on top of that, first of all, Sonny berated you. Well, he literally told the truth about yourself, Jason. So that tells me that Sonny has been deep down inside for over 20-something years, has been feeling a certain type of way about you, Jason. And you just go ahead and you take it with a grain of salt and says, yes, sir, everything is okay, sir. Stone cold, reporting for duty, sir. And go right back into the, into the thick of it. Yep. Jason, you are, two, you are a father of two boys. Yep. Two. You have responsibilities that, again, something happens to you. Oh, I guess because you have the baby mamas. Well, in a couple of weeks, you're only going to have one baby mama if we're going to play the card, right? Yeah. You, I don't understand the writing for Jason. I will I never don't. understand why he can't have, like, don't y'all think this, this is like an issue that the fact that Jason doesn't get to say his two cents to Sonny? Like, hey, you know what? You know, when you said this about me, did you really mean it? Have you been holding all of this in? Because you know what? I tr- you know, remember, I wanted to shoot and kill Rick. But you didn't let me, but you went ahead and killed AJ. Uh-huh. You you said A, B, C, D, F, G about Carly, Courtney. Well, I said Courtney. I did not say Skipper. Darn it. All these people. And, again, if Jason was to go to A, B, C, D, F, like, it's just, it's just interesting to me that it's now 2024, and I had to see Jason, you know, cleaning off guns and dropping them in acid forward and all that stuff. And it's like, it's always been the thing. It's how come Sonny gets to have a life and you don't, Jason? Don't you think that this, this, like, God. I can't understand how they thought this is what we wanted. But all right, I, you know, Mm -hmm. we're well into our second hour now. Um, Ashley, talk to us about The Young and the Restless. Give us, like, the last two weeks in a nutshell. And what do you like? What are you loving? What are you only liking? And what's 
tweaking your annoyance? Young and the Restless, go. Um, so I'm really enjoying Sharon's storyline right now. Um, mm-hmm. With her being all um, the, with the with the change of the meds, and then um, seeing Cameron in her head, um, I thought the scenes last week, last Friday, with her and Heather were really really good. Um, so I, it, it'll be interesting to see like what she does um, next because I definitely feel like she's. Something is going to happen. She's catapulting I think it's gonna, towards. It, yes. It, it, it's good. Something's going to happen. I think with Lucy. Yep. So with with Sharon in Lucy, like I don't know what, but I could just see something happening because Sharon feels that you know Heather and Daniel did not punish Lucy enough for yep. the car accident. She feels something more severe needs to happen. So I could definitely see like Cameron pushing her. To, to to do something to to find his own like sick form of justice, but oh, putting I it on so to, so. to Sharon. I so hope so. And I can picture so. the scene. He's all the way up in the corner in like this dark shadow, and they're in the room together. And only she can hear Cameron, and he's screaming mm-hmm. and he's yelling, but she's still yeah. having the conversation. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, yes. Now, see, I am so ready for that, and I am loving it. Yeah. Sharon Case. Sharon Case, girl, we all see it. We all see yeah, it, girl. You came. You you know, yeah. you said, uh-huh, nope, I didn't get it again this year. Don't worry about it, baby. <laughs> she you, she put her fingernails with a little bit of, and she buffed them. I got you. And here she is. All right, so that's what you're loving. What are you liking? Um, I'm liking the dynamic between Kyle and Claire. Um, mm. So I'm I'm kind of interested to see what's going to to happen. I definitely feel like Claire is Kyle's sounding board um, with everything that's happening with him and and Jack and Diane at the moment. So I could definitely see them um, continuing to get to get closer. So I'm I'm liking that dynamic. All right, and what's irking you? Um, I'd say the whole story right now, like with um the um with Devon and Lily and Billy and the the, the whole Chancellor Winters. Um, I'm just I'm not I'm not feeling that story. There's just something about it that I just can't seem to get into like I sit and watch it but like I'm like I want to fast forward <laughs> and not watch it but like I'm sitting there still watching it because I can't not watch it but I'm just yep. I'm just not feeling that I don't know what it is it's just it's just not interesting um God, to me. I, I, I at, love Jason at, I love Jason Thompson I love moment. you know no feel you Candace I'm going to give it to you a little bit differently what are you liking right now? What's irking you a little bit, and what is totally making you like, ah, oh, go? I just want to announce that my separation papers for Young and Rosses is back on. It's being retyped um, until further notice. Um, we're going to have to do some counseling again. It's about this time of the year. Okay, so you said, what do I like? Um... um um, <laughs> um, I guess Sharon Case having the storyline, but I'm not mm-hmm. feeling it like the way because I have a funny feeling this is gonna. <sighs> oh, okay. It's not going the way you want it. No, it's, it's I, okay. Wait, because Anthony did ask me all the questions, so I can loop it all together. Okay, so yeah, right. I like the fact Sharon Case has the storyline. What was the second question, Anthony? Was giving you the heebie-jeebies, and then the third question was, what are you, like, completely disgusted with? Okay, so I'm just going to skip and, and combine all that together. I'm Go ahead, girl. I'm disgusted with the whole show, to be honest, um, because to me, we have five people with, with mental health issues right now on this show. We have mm-hmm. a story. We have a business storyline that is literally irking my last nerve. When I say irking my last nerve, I mm-hmm. look. I play. I can play Monopoly too. 
And at the end of the day, you know what the great thing about Monopoly is? You can pack it away and put it, put it away, and you don't have to worry about it for a while. You can just play whenever you want. I am so over this Venice storyline of Abbott Chancellor Winters, Winters Fall, Baldwin Enterprises, Elder Enterprises. I am so over it to the point where it's like, can somebody just shut the hell up and pick a company and stick with it? Billy, you have no business working at Abbott Chancellor. Create your own freaking legacy. Go to Jabot. If you don't want to go to Jabot, stop harping on everybody else who's done the work and go out there and do the work for yourself. God, you're a man child. Get over yourself. You and Kyle definitely are related. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Lily, girl, you can girl, girl, Lily, 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 Lily. I'm going to tell you something that somebody once said. Keep your, keep, keep, Keep your shoulders guarded, okay? Get into a lineup formation like you're playing football and don't move. Block anybody that you get in your way. You are being played like nobody's business right now, and that's, it's not funny yep. to me anymore. The fact that, first and foremost, Victor Newman will always be Victor Newman. <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> no so and buzz about it. But the thing is, is that, Lily, you are, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and everybody can see that. Everybody knows that. They know your weakness. You don't have a poker face. You really don't. The fact no. that you got all emotional when reading Catherine's notes and stuff like that, I'm like, girl, girl, seriously? You in the wrong bed, Nick. Right, I'm like this. That's great. That's a nice letter. Okay, great. Call it a day and see you later. But you're being played. And look, your family is trying to tell you something. And you're, again, okay, yeah, Jill. You're not okay. listening. Yep. Wait a minute. Jill, I'm going to talk to you, Jill. Jill, girl. First and foremost, you, you didn't want your son to be in charge of anything. You put Lily in charge of that. You made Lily kind of be the over, overlooker over Billy's shoulder because you know Billy and Jabot, Jabot, and all that, okay? All right. So you're sick. So you decide that Billy should be the one to take over. But you know how Billy is. Billy is like a kid. When you give them something new, they have shiny ball syndrome. They are like, yep. ooh, ooh. One more. And then when they get tired of it or when something happens, they're quick to say, it was it was Anthony's fault, it was David's fault, it was Ashley's fault. I was just doing my job. No, you, you're not. Again, why can't you do something on your own instead of trying to take over somebody else's company? Regardless if mama told you, you're old enough to say the word no. Okay, Lily, again, listen to your family. Okay. Can't. <laughs> Young and Russell, you don't know what to do with chance. You don't know what to do with chance. You really do not know what to do with chance, and it's hurting my. It's when I when I tell you it's hurting my heart. It's hurting my heart because mm-hmm. I feel as though his look. Have him go back to being a cop. He's no. He doesn't know anything about Chancellor Industries. Yes, he's a chancellor. Da 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 da. But he's not, he doesn't want to do the business stuff, okay? Just get him back into the law and call it a day. Yeah. All right. Let's see, who else got a business deal? Probably one what shining happened? light what right happened? there. What happened? what happened to Sharon's company? Where's Cassidy and what, what, where's that at? Yeah, okay, thank you, Josh. Thanks for proving my point. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me see, what else we got? Okay. Audra, Nate, I still like y'all, but we need to do something with y'all. Okay. <sighs> okay. Jack and Diane, again, this is all, this is literally irking me. When I tell you all this is irking me, it's irking my soul to the point that I'm just like, I just want to, <sighs> okay? Because my thing is, is that that's the only two major stories you got going is the mental health stuff and the business stuff. What's yeah. really giving me that, what really is giving me the irking I don't know if that's even a word. Irkies. 
Oh, he's, he's, I we'll don't know. We'll take it. Oh, for but now. It's, it's Seven points. It is tonight. We'll take it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's to the point where some of these characters are unrecognizable and you make and you damage them by doing certain things. Case in point, Adam. Adam look, mm-hmm. Adam has always been weekly walkly to me. Like when he when he feels as though Victor d- done him wrong and stuff like that, he's the first to say, But I'm I'm Victor Newman's child. I'm gonna be in top you know, stuff like that. You you are Charlie Brown to Victor's Lucy. Literally, we all know what happened. You know, Lucy had the football. Charlie Brown comes running. Woo! He falls right on his butt. But the fact that you destroyed him and and um um uh the, the, the Sally the way that y'all did. Look, I'm gonna keep it 100. I was never an Adam and Sally fan. Okay, let me just state that. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't a fan. But I felt bad for the fans because y'all really made Adam cold Lovable. to Sally. At the same time, I will say this. I'm glad that Billy and Chelsea broke up because they had no business being together considering the history. But mm-hmm. again, it's like, okay, Adam and Chelsea, Connor. Connor had OCD. Josh, I said to you that that was intriguing because I was on board for that. But I said on the show, too, I said, you're going to make it about Chelsea and Adam. Thanks for proving my point. Um, yep. We get, Remember we gave him steps on what to do? It we shouldn't have been hard. A storyline out for them. Going through it. But the thing is, is that Jelby, Jelby, Jelby. You said that you were basing some of this off of, you know, real-life situations. For those who don't know, his daughter has OCD. So to me, I was like, okay, personal experience mixed into the show. That's going to get, you know, a fresh take because we've never really seen the child's POV of OCD. But then you went ahead and you did the thing that we said you was going to do anyway. Okay. Yep. Now, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. One of the other things that I do like is Beth Maitland getting the story. Me too. Yep. Look, I'm standing up and applauding. Tracy but I'm on the second show, we are standing up for a Tracy. Right. But at the Rock same it. time, I'm, I'm worried because I've been saying this. I was like, he's with the twins. This is Lifetime movie about to happen. This yep. is the life of a twin. And I'm hoping that it's not because I really believe, I really truly in my heart, Tracy deserves some happiness instead of being the gatekeeper for the yeah, family. Does. Okay. And Yeah, I'm a, I'm on the fence with that too. I want I I like right. some happiness for her. I want some happiness for her. At the same time, okay, here's something else that I kinda like but I kinda don't. But it kinda ties into the Sharon stuff. Is the Lucy the Lucy situation with Faith. Which also, wait a minute, I'm going, to, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to put Kyle and Claire, Lucy, and Faith into this. <clears throat> okay. What do they have, what do these three have in common? You probably, I'm taking Kyle out, but what do, what, I'm actually going to take Faith and I'm going to take Kyle out. What does Lucy and Claire have in common? Lucy and Claire? Uh-huh. They have nut jobs as who raised them, or in their backgrounds. Well, besides that, they're, I'll tell you what it is. They're a little obsessed. Claire oh, is, yeah. I thought Think you meant it. what person do they have in common? Oh, no, oh, no, no. no. Yeah, like, no, no, they yeah, no, they both a little yeah. obsessed. Right, because they, here's the thing they, about Claire. Claire has that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, when I say this, y'all going to be like, oh, my God. Claire reminds me of Patty. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lucy is unhinged like her grandmother. Mm-hmm. And by that, I do mean Phyllis at this point. She's Phyllis right now. To me, Oh, you're not Josh, talking Sheila. I'm not, oh, well, she hasn't hit the Sheila factor yet. Not <laughs> waiting, though. Me but too. To me, me personally, again, they both have something loose. Yeah. With Kyle, Kyle is playing into Claire's dream 
And when I say dream, they made sure to say she's a virgin. She hasn't had alcohol. She's such, you know, she's she's 15 in a 20-something-year-old body. She's like Nina on General Hospital, okay? You have Kyle yeah. saying, you're the rose, you're the petals, you're the, the sunshine that makes my day bright. We should go to Paris. I should hire you. They're kind of feeding into her to the point where her Daddy obsession, obsession. With you is about, look, I watch enough Lifetime movies mm-hmm. to know. And not only that, but she's kind of working summer with that family tree thing. You, you think it's corny? <laughs> we really want to be a part of the family. <laughs> and Summer is playing the part. She still knows something's not right, but she's going to give the benefit of the doubt because of Harrison. Now, Lucy, first and foremost, hi, I'm Candace Mack. I'll be honest. I love children, but I also know they deserve better punishment. Heather and Daniel, Daniel, you're too much of a friend to your child. You are too much of a friend to your child. About? About everything. About everything. The one person, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, that has been the strict parent is Heather. Heather has put her foot down and says da 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 but my thing is, is that first and foremost, I lo- first and foremost, I love all of you guys on this phone. But like I said before, I'm not buying y'all a $200 bracelet. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, sorry, Ashley. I love you, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good, girl. It's good. Right? It's good. We're good. To me, to me, it's like you constantly call her. You constantly text Faith. Faith is trying to be nice, but now there was a car accident. Because, Lucy, you can't handle your liquor. Daniel and Heather, where are you guys at with this? Because this girl is spiraling out of control, and I feel as though to tie it in with Sharon, I think something is going to happen, and somebody's going to be, I'm going to be honest, I think somebody's going to die. I think Lucy's going to die. I think Lucy I think... wants to belong so badly that she, she will go to yeah. extremes to belong. She, she wants to be I think safe there's friends gonna be so badly. A, an accidental be... death that looks like a murder or something to that effect. Mm-hmm. And see, and this is what's going to, this is irking me. This is, first and foremost, let me just say this. Yes, I love the fact that Sharon Case, first, happy anniversary, sweetie, 30 years. That's, that's an accomplishment yep. right there. Um, but I'm not liking this storyline because I've seen this storyline before. I saw this when Charles Pratt and them was writing for this show a couple, almost 10 years ago, probably even longer than that. To me, I understand the core of all this is Cassie's death. I get it because, because that changed her forever. Her talking to Cameron and then for us to find out that Faith has also been having, you know, Cameron's thoughts. Okay, Josh, now you're playing that beat. You should have played that beat when Cameron kidnapped that girl and almost yeah. killed her. That's one problem that I'm having. You waited until now to do it. Okay. You have too many people knowing that Sharon is off her medication. You have Phyllis over there knowing that's Earth and Sharon's insecurity. You got Nick over there looking fine as I don't know what, but he's a little clueless too. But he's also telling everybody Sharon's business. To me, you had her going off on Heather, and, and it's like, okay, yeah, are you setting up a murder? But my problem is, is that, okay, just like General Hospital, you have Sonny and Sharon who are unbalanced, you know, with, with their disorder. You're going to have them do something. Yeah. And we're just, just going to blame it on, oh, well, you know, they're both bipolar. They, you know, the medication. Aww. Someone was and messing with their meds. Right. Aww. I'm over it, Josh, over it. If this is what you can only do for Sharon Case, and luckily Sharon Case is this, look, Sharon Case graduated from the Mar West Kim Zimmer School of turning crap into, into a masterpiece, okay? But this is not working for me. The young lady who plays Lucy, I like her because she is showing that she is seriously Sheila Carter, Phyllis, and Terrible Tom's granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And, I'm, and, and I would like to also point out, 
the wrath she like could to point unleash. Out, but wait a minute. I also like to point out she is the step niece, yeah, it's a step daughter of freaking Patty Cake. Yeah, I remember Heather is Patty's niece. Heather adopted, yep. adopted, yeah. you know, Lucy. Mm-hmm. So to me, and you have a fair game because Faith is, you know, she has her own demons. But I'm going to say this now, too. There's one, two, three, three other kids that's in Lucy's age range. And I saw this one girl this week, and I was like, ooh, she is going to give her yep. parents a fit. And that's Katie. Imagine, if you will, Lucy and Katie teaming up against the world. Like, to, but again, my whole thing, because they did say that Sharon and Michelle Stafford are going to kind of, their anniversaries are going to kind of intertwine. So I'm like, okay, something is going to happen to somebody. And I'm just like, I'm not here for it. I'm going to be honest. Y'all, y'all seriously, my, my papers are literally being printed out because, I'm going to need, when October comes, because that's their season premiere month, October, yeah. I'm going to need for Young and the Russells to, cho- to show me again why I said they were by far the best soap the first half of the year. And I don't know if they can, I, I'm going to wait and see. I'm going to wait and see. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're going to pull it back enough. Um, right now, for me, Daisus is the best show on air. You know I'm really? always going to throw all of my loyalty to General Hospital, but right now, Days I think, is actually the best. There's a lot wrong with Days. Uh, 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 excuse me, Bold. There is a lot wrong with Bold right now, but I actually think cohesively it's still – I don't know. It's still Needs hitting its work. targets. Huh? Needs a little work? No, it definitely needs, it needs some work. But, you know, I, I guess it gives me the least X. Mm. And let me go back to let me go back to the Young and the Restless for a second, because I actually I, I do want to say I, I'm I'm loving this for, for Sharon Case. I'm, I'm loving that she gets to play this type of material. She's so good at it. Um, mm-hmm. I don't. I don't like where they're going with it. There's so much potential in another area. Um, they, you know, they could have focused her on a paranoid trip with someone else and focus a, and let Lucy develop differently. But I, I think the writing's on the wall. There's going to be something there, and 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 it's. I, I'm not. I'm just with that. But David, you didn't actually speak, so Young and the Rest, let's go. Oh, well, it's easy. There's a lot. What's irking me is that uh, it's a business overload for me. I think maybe the only bright spot in all of that is Chance leaving. And I I am intrigued a little bit with um, Lily mixing it up with the big wigs. And she's making her way. She's talking to Victor. She's talking to Nikki. She's talking to Jack. I'm I, I'm rooting for Lily. I know she's going to get burned, but I'm rooting for her. Um, I'm with you. I think Aww. there should be something a little better for Sharon. Um, and I, I'm just hoping for some a little more of everything else. Everything. All right. So I think we should transition to Bold. And this time we'll start with you, David. Um, What are you loving about Bold and what is irking you? Me? Yep. Uh, What I'm loving about Bold, um, I'd like to say I'm loving the performances by Naomi Matsuda, Romy Park, Lisa Yamada, and all of the story, you know, seem to be like start in one direction and veer off because I thought 
it would be Poppy, and Katie would be the one in the cage. Because it should have been more of a Bill and Katie story. All right. But it wasn't. So what I'm... What I don't like is the Steffi flip-flop. And I don't know if you can follow me on this. Uh, I guess minute, you definitely you know, can. Um, one minute, you can. Thank you. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? One minute, she's ragging on Hope and all this and saying, stay away, and she's being a bitch. Then all of a sudden, they... She gets taken away, put in the cage, and we want to. They want us to feel sorry for her. And then we have her husband, Finn. Basically, I like the guy, and I'm glad he saved the day. But I don't like her flip flop because tomorrow or the next day we're going to see her back and back up Hope's ass again. And I, I really can't feel sorry for Steffi. I don't. You're not speaking against, I think, what is a popular tide right now. Um, you, you know, this character, this character has been written zigzagging so many different ways the last bunch of years. There is no through line personality anymore. So it's becoming, you know, harder and harder to find a reason to root for her and, you know, throw her in a cage for a little while, let's see what happens. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not rooting any harder for her at the moment. Now, I love Jackie. Um, and Jackie does what Jackie does with the material that she's given. But, right. you know, there's no through line of recognition. All right, we'll throw it to Ashley. Ashley, what do you think? Um, So, I've been loving Naomi Matsuda um, Romy Park and Lisa Yamada. I'm sad that it looks like Luna is um, leaving the show because I really enjoyed her character. Um, I had a feeling in the very beginning when Tom and Hollis were murdered, I had a feeling that Luna was the one who did it. I just, after seeing the way she interacted with Poppy and and Tom, when Tom went to Bill's to see Poppy, um, at that moment, I I saw a spark of Luna being, like, very protective, yet, of her mom, yet, like, territorial of, like, this is our life, and, like, I don't want anything to happen to to our life that we're, we're creating for ourselves here with Bill. So, in that moment, I thought, ooh, maybe she was the one who, who did, who off Tom and Hollis, and turns out she was, but I just feel like her good girl and then flipping very quickly to to villainous was was very quick and in a way it almost seemed like it came out of like nowhere but i will say lisa yamada has given like 150 percent the past couple weeks she's been so so powerful it's been spot spot on with her performances and i've really enjoyed um the actress and the character, and I loved it last week when, like, Lee took down um, Luna. That was oh. so great. And she's like, Nazawa power. Nazawa like, power. Was, that was so, yeah. that was so gratifying. Like, I loved it. Like, you don't mess with Aunt Lee. So, it was, yeah. it was so good. It was, it was so good. Um, I, I, I feel like um, with, with Rebecca Budig being introduced as Taylor, we haven't seen much of her. See kind of what happens when hopefully we, we we see what kind of story Taylor has. But I am frankly getting tired of like the whole triangle with Brooke, Ridge, mm-hmm. Taylor. Um, I wish, I hope that they can do something different with Taylor, but I don't have a lot of um, hope in, in that actually happening because I don't see where they could honestly go with Taylor right now. That doesn't include Ridge and and Brooke. Um, I can definitely see like Taylor being all up in 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 Brooke when you know when they start talking about the fact that um, Hope kissed Finn and Hope's been lusting after Finn. Um, but I just I just don't see what they're going to be doing with with Taylor. 
right now. And as much as I love oh, the character, I, I just okay. I, I don't you're, know you're, you're an angelic why they brought sort of person. Oh, I do. I think I do. And they want to play on some chemistry that was never really touched on from all my children. All my children, right? With with Thurston K. Um, yes. I, I, yeah, yeah, I can um, see that. I, I think we are pretty much going towards somehow back to a Ridge and Taylor arc. Um, I hope I so. Think, I'm just I'm tired of the whole triangle thing with Brooke and, and Ridge and Taylor. Like I want some Tridge. I liked it so. when I liked it when both ladies, you know, swore him off. I was mm-hmm. for the yeah. Mm. That was no, that, yeah. that 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 was a good time, and honestly, they should both be. You, you know, there's three men at, at any one time that they've all been with. They, they, they're in Los Angeles. There's a lot of eligible men out there. They need to start like broadening their horizons. But I think mm-hmm. that's pretty much where we're going to. You know, a Ridge and Taylor, Candace, go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to say this. Bold and Beautiful for me was the most entertaining during the summer because I finally, we finally got a murder mystery. It yep. wasn't like loving because nothing can stop loving. But it was something refreshing for Bold to do. Like it said, because, yeah, you know, they've done deaths and they've done who shot this person, that, but they've never really done a murder. And I said from jump when I did my suspect list, <laughs> not the same yes, thing myself and shoulder. But I kept saying, I was like, okay, it's probably not, obviously the easy, you know, target was Sheila, right, obviously. But I said, hmm, Lee and Lunatic, like, let, let's go there. But I think what, I think for me, what's been very interesting is that first and foremost, hey, daytime Emmys, y'all need to bring back that younger performer category. Because yep. Lisa, by the way, sweetie, yep. happy birthday. Your birthday was last week. Um, she she showed up and she showed off because I was like, where has this girl been at? But at the same time, I feel as though that the writing and the performance for the made us audience just like Bill and everybody else. It's like we thought we knew this girl, but surprise, surprise, she was this whole different different person, and we went on a journey for her. Naomi, yep. look, Naomi is that girl, okay, because Lee is the gatekeeper of that family, and when she yep. body slammed her, I, was, mm-hmm. I felt that. I was like this. Oh, dang, my back hurts. Like, good grief. With Romy Park, this is interesting, because the writing made you believe that Poppy was something sketchy. Yep. I, I still think yeah. she's still sketchy. I'm still yeah. saying she's still sketchy. Right. I thought it was gone. Right. That so was the red me, herring. When, when Luna went, because, again, we have to, I, I always say when you're, you know, with a show, you have to be on the lookout. You have to hear the context clues, right? Remember context clues yep. when you were kids in school? So let's, mm-hmm. let's, go, let's go from the jump. Okay. Luna immediately wanted to come and work for Force of Creations, even though Lee and them told her no. Right? She was following RJ. As influences yep. do. We follow people, right? But she was hell-bent on working at Force of Creation. Okay. She was sweet. Mama was sweet. But there was that something was up. Something felt weird. And I remember thinking con artists. But then, you know, you have Poppy with the pills and dancing and, you know, did it, did it, did it, did And then she's lying in. So it's like, okay, we got something here. But Luna is such a sweetheart. When all this came out, and then on top of that, I think the big moment is when Luna found out about the pills. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But mm-hmm. at the same time, something sick. Yeah, that, that it's that just a little too good to be true. Right. I was like, okay. When Tom died, I was like, Poppy. I was like everybody else. I said Poppy because I was like, Poppy doesn't want the truth to come out about Tom and her. I totally understand it. I get it. But then when they said, when how and he looked up, he's like, oh, it's you. And then in that same episode, we find out Luna and Hope both knew the boy. I was like, yep, Luna, you now on my suspect list. I was like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like, no, like, uh-uh. When all of this came out, and then when she kissed Bill, yep. I was like, Lord. I said, she a con artist. Lord. She's a something. 
But but here's how bold you, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna say this. I know everybody else is not, but I am. You made it to the point where we understood why Luna did certain things. Yep. She mm-hmm. wanted attention. She was craving attention. She Her wanted stability. Was, Right, because remember she kept saying to Lee, you had you had her mother bring men in, in and out of the house, pill popping and everything else like that. We don't know if anybody has touched her, right? But the yeah. fact is that her mom was, while Luna was like, hey, you know, I want to be with my mom. That's why she said she was jealous of Finn, because Finn had that stability. He had that family. But then she was mad at Lee because it's like, you could have done more too. So, okay, since y'all didn't do anything, I have to do something to get y'all attention. Luna, baby, there's other ways of doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's more effective ways for sure. Right. I mean, killing some people and then um, mm. kidnapping. <laughs> Kidnapping, poisoning water, because I was like, damn, like, okay. But the thing is, I agree that, to me, it should have been Katie, but I understand Steffi, because the thing is, is that they kind of they set it up where Steffi saw something. She was defending her brother. RJ is her brother, for those who don't know. And also the fact is that Steffi kind of told everybody she was leaving. She was leaving town. She was, leaving, you know, da 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 da. da. Mm-hmm. And look, I'm going to be honest. Steffi is a hypocrite, hypocrite heroine. Because yep. the, the funny thing is mm-hmm. that prior to all of this, she was upset about Hope and Finn and how Finn was acting towards Steffi. But yet, Steffi, girl, you haven't been truthful to Finn about those kisses with Liam, and we're going to let that go, I guess, because apparently it's not going to come up. So you're all da 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 da. And then you're going to have this whole thing where she's all like, I love you, Finn. I still love you. Stuff. Now, I'm going to say Tanner did an interview, and he actually said what I always said about Steffi. It's Steffi, you don't, know what, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And you yep. revert to bad behavior. Yeah, you've, yeah. seen, you've, seen, you've seen your father and your mother go through this. I will say this much. Like I said, now that this part, because I don't – for me, I don't know if Lisa's gone. I'm going to say, Bold, if y'all make that decision of Luna being gone, you're wasting a good opportunity for more story. Because for I really hope race, she stays. I really I hope, really so hope because, she stays. Because did anybody peep this when she was telling me about Tom? And she said, I don't even know if he's really my father or not. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. I was like, mm-hmm. and we're back to what I've been saying back. about uh, I'm, me. I'm, I'm voting for, yeah. I want Jack well, you, Finnegan to be her father. Thank, thank you, thank you, Ashley. I knew, I knew yeah. that was Jack, fun for a reason. Yes, Jack because, Finnegan needs to be her father. Because that's the yep. only way you can tie all this in is that, again, yes. Lee, Lee was mad Lee with the resentment. Yes, he that's was, the only right, way that makes, like, makes it, sense. It makes so much sense. Yes. And look, okay, full alert. I think we can say it because it's full alert. Ted King was spotted a couple of weeks ago in Bowling Beautiful. This episode will be airing soon. Stay tuned to CBS for that. But anyway, that's the only way you can make this really a solid story because yep. you're not going to tell me yep. that this is it. This is over with because they're still, it, they're it. still, they're still, because this is going to pull Sheila in. Mm-hmm. This is going to piss Finn in because I feel as though they're trying to make this family work. And if you saw today's episode, I was like, whoa. We got both families there. Yeah, this is a trip. I am. I so feel like it needs again. to come. It needs to come full circle for that, for everyone. And, and, and not only that, but there's there's something else regarding Luna that we have to address. Zenday and RJ. Yep. Yep. Thank because, you. Um, and that's totally yes. right. Because yes. here's the thing. I'm going to say this. Okay, but I'm going to say that the the rewrite that y'all did was Zenday. Because you know how social media got when you had it where he took a, I'm not going to say take advantage because he did get his scent, he was in his, you know, but the fact that she was under the influence. And I think because of the heat that y'all took from Carter, 
involvement with Eric and Quinn, you know, when Eric said, yeah, you know, Carter and Quinn, y'all can still have sex and stuff like that. It, it kind of left a sour taste in some of our mouths. So in yeah. order for y'all to fix that, because here's the thing, Luna saw opportunity. Zenday was making a play for Luna while she was with RJ. So she, she you see, this is the, see, this is the power of the writing. Because and I'm gonna say, and I'm just gonna say it like that. Because again, we the audience, just like RJ, just like Zenday, just like everybody else, we thought Luna was such a sweetheart that she couldn't even kill a bee. And this girl killed now. people left and right. Like I'm, I'm sorry, man. You getting... <sighs> now with the Taylor and Ridge thing. Look, I need to know why Taylor came back. Because if you're gonna tell me she's back to Broken Ridge and all that jazz, then I'm, 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 look, I'm done. I'm done. Done. I feel as though it's more to the story with Taylor. Let me find out her and Jackson hooking up. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Ooh, that'd be good. <laughs> her and Jack. I mean. I yeah. mean, yeah. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm that'd be good. good to, to, to yeah. Taylor and Carter hook up. I mean, I'm just, I mean, mm. I'm, just, I'm just throwing yeah. it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. Carter and All right, Taylor, mm-hmm. Taylor needs a new man besides Ridge. I will say. Yeah, so, all day long. I mean, what? You know what? <laughs> hey, Nick Maroney. Nick, call yeah, you Nick. Let's bring Nick back. Yeah. I'm going yeah. back again. Take a look around. We got to talk about days of our lives before we leave. Yeah, we... All right, Ken, just catch us up, girl. Okay, on days of our lives. I love Fiona. Your... I know, me too. That's the only good thing I have going right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have we have who hit Sarah? Is it, you know, Fanola now Again. She's behind the wheel, right? But Brady thinks that he did. But at the same time, Kristen took the car, even though Justin was like, could Brady really leave somebody on the street? Like, everybody's using their brain, right? Okay. Except for Brady. We also find, right. And well, <laughs> there's no surprise there. We also found out on Body and Soul, they're up for an award. One Life to Live fans, don't you all feel a certain type of way this week with these rig hats? Okay. So we got yeah. Chanel and we got Alex. They're chem testing. Mm-hmm. Johnny's not too thrilled about it, and neither am I. Okay. Then we have Eric. <laughs> Did you like that? We have Eric. Mm-hmm. He's, he's coming back. Hey, Greg Ron. How you doing? Hey, honey. He comes back because he wants to be in support of Brady. But guess what? Kate told Holly that uh, the person that killed your daddy has been living under the same roof as you for all these years. And it's Eric. <laughs> and Holly is upset about it. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Let me see what else. Oh, and what's missing had... from this picture? Wait a minute. What is, or who what, is missing the... from this picture? Oh, there, there's a couple of people missing from this one. I'll get to that in a minute. Mm-hmm. And then we have, then yeah, we have Abby, it. who's not really Abby, but she's somebody. And Dr. Mark yep. Green, shout out to ER, mm-hmm. we find out they're not, they're not, they're not um, boyfriend and girlfriend. No, 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 no. They're really related. And there's only one person who's putting two and two together, and that's Patch. At the same time, though, let me see. EJ and Gabby, they got chemistry, but Gabby feels really bad for what she did, what she's done, even though she told Stefan that EJ was better in bed. Luna and Gabby, y'all been talking, haven't y'all? Mm-hmm. And Connie, mm-hmm. she's still tripping. That's it. <laughs> I think I hit all the storylines, right? Well, that's a good recap. Thank you. Well, you're not that trying. is a really good recap. Okay. Very thorough. Yeah, very right. David, did, your, did, David, your thoughts? Um, this would all be better if Ari was there. <laughs> oh, God, yes. Yeah. Because mm. without, without her, uh, there's, there's that missing piece of the puzzle, and you just can't talk to her over the phone. Like Eric did today, she she really needed to be there in in this story because she's a big yeah. big part of it. Yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Big, big. Mm-hmm. Okay, Andrea. 
Yes. Um, I'm. I'm thinking here. <laughs> um, I really feel like I agree with like with what David was saying with how Ari is definitely missed in the story. I definitely feel like a piece is missing with Eric telling Holly about the accident and, and him killing Daniel, and yet Nicole's not there to kind of explain in in her own way and in her actions as to why she did um, what she did. So I definitely feel like there, her presence is is, so, is sorely missed um, on the show and, and within that story. Um, I could see, like, with the whole body and soul thing with Alex and Chanel, working together, something's going to happen. I think um, Alex and Chanel are going to hook up something. Because I definitely see some some um, heated tension there that could turn into something more. So I wouldn't be surprised if something ends up ends up happening with Chanel and Alex. Um, and then um, with Abby, who isn't really Abby, um, and she's Mark's sister. sister. Um, yeah, sister. Because um, was it last week she called Mark um, bro, so she's his sister. Um, so I'm interested, kind of, to see like, like are they are the Green family like are they good, are they not good? Like you've got Felicity, who I love. She's a sweetheart. I love her. Right. Um, love her. Yeah. Love her. Love Felicity. I really hope they do more with her character. I feel like we've really not seen a whole lot of her since um, Kennedy Garcia mm-hmm. was introduced as Felicity. So I really hope that they can do something more with her. Um, I like Aaron. He's a good friend to Tate. So, you know, that too. I hope we, we kind of see more of the teen scene um, with them. But I guess I just kind of want to know more about, like, the Green family. So I hope that the, the – um, more is explored um, with them because, yeah, it, I feel like they've introduced this new family on can, um, the show, but yet we're really not seeing a whole lot of them since they were all kind of introduced. So I hope we get to see more of of them. Um, I'm really liking Fiona. Um, it's interesting that Fee and Brady um, have, like, buddy-buddied up the way that they – have and but yet I also feel like um Fiona is feeling some guilt for what she did with causing the accident she was the one who was driving but yet at the same time I don't think she necessarily wants to admit to anything because she's got a really good life with Xander and she's she's starting to reconnect with with her son and having a relationship with him and Sarah and baby Victoria so I definitely don't think she wants to give any of that up. So I could definitely see her continuing to Minute stay quiet. So, so that's my thought. What were you going to say, on... David? we got a minute and a half. Oh, okay. Dave, you're showing up good. Well, I'm going to say I love Fiona. Um, I'm going to say, you know, Ari, <laughs> it, 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 they wasted so much time with Ari on the way out. This storyline should have been done two months ago. Um, mm-hmm. And it was a way to do it. Mm-hmm. And it was a way to do it. Um, so it's like a triple slap in the face. Yep. <sighs> but the, Down to a minute. The players are still bringing it. So I'm still interested yes. enough in, in in a couple of the spaces that, like, okay, you can fix. Um, I do. I, I, I do like the heat with Alice. Um, I'm all for it. Johnny, I don't know. They're, oh, they've got to find something to do with him. Um, it, 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 we're falling into the same rut over and over and over again. They don't know what to do with these people. Um, Patch, uh, hello, it's Patch. That's like, it just did everyone on campus forget hello, it's Patch? Candace, take us out. You guys, first of all, it's Ashley. It's always been a, it's a pleasure having you with us. Hopefully you'll be on next time. Yes, yes. So, that's the plan if you guys like to have me back. Yeah, I'd love to have right. you again. You guys stay tuned, stay live with Take Two Radio on Blog Talk Radio. Keep informed, keep stay informed with us on Insta, on Facebook, and on Twitter. We'll be back in Q2. We'll be with back. More information, Thanks, more information and everything else. <laughs> Love you guys.
Get connected with Take Two Radio on Facebook or Twitter at Take Two Radio. For email updates on future shows, follow at Blog Talk Radio. For previous episodes, upcoming guests, and more, visit TakeTwoRadio.com.